farm this year. I will put the seat, the back seat. Bar. Is this the farm? Yeah, not this one. Not for Look at this. This is so cool and this is where our journey begins. Myself, Scott, and Tommy. Those are the three guys that are going to be taking this epic week-long trip to Colombia. We just landed from, we took a flight from Miami down to Medellin. Here we are taking a tour of the beautiful property. I'm here with the tour guide, Jose. Jose, where exactly are we right now? We are in the Llano Grande area. We are really close to Medellin. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, this is like, I wish that video could capture the smells because just the smells of this place is absolutely beautiful. It's really not humid. You would think and look at an environment like this and think it's extremely humid, but it is not at all. We're going to spend the day just traveling around Medellin, experiencing the culture, just seeing what this beautiful country has to offer. Well, as much as we can see in a day. And then tomorrow morning, we're taking a charter flight to Bahia Solano. Yeah, Bahia Solano. And we're going to be fishing the Pacific coast of Colombia for just a plethora of incredible species that Scott, Tommy, and I are hoping to cross off the bucket list. But that's all today is going to be, guys, exploring this beautiful country of Colombia. It's Everything really is just nice. so green. You said yeah. it's forever spring, it's forever Colombia? Spring. It's forever spring. <laughs> and this is this, the, 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 the city of the eternal sprint. So the, the property is really close to the, wow. the, princip the principal road. Yeah, it's really green, like you said. Yeah. Really green. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so we got our necessary items. Away we go, off to Medellin, to the hotel. We just took a little pit stop because the view that we were seeing coming out of, you're used to this. Yep. I've never seen a city like this before. Look at this. Just, it's incredible. I'm like speechless at this view. I can't believe it. I could stay here and look at that view all day, but we have a lot to do today. Yeah. I could yeah. stay and look at that all damn day. And we came up from so high in the mountain. It's, ah. Uh, all right, we gotta go. I'll just look at that all day. What's up, boys? Yeah. <laughs> I just. I just made a Snapchat saying that like we, we don't know where you are, but it's all good. <laughs> it is all good. So here are the two guys we will be fishing with all week. There's Scott, and too many of you guys know Scott. And then Tommy? How's it going? Introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, how exactly did you get on this trip? Um, actually, I Because I, I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> I, I started watching like Alex and John's videos, obviously yours, and then I saw Scott, saw the peacock fishing, and uh, me and my boy Pete, we had to come down and do it. And um, last time I went with him, he, he gave me the invite and I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass it up. Dude, how about the country coming in that drive? Dude. Look, did you see my Yo, Instagram story? Have you, no. Have you seen the hotel rooms? You haven't checked in yet. No, I the just walked in. The hotel rooms are insane. There's hammocks, huge bathrooms, like overlooks of the city. It's, Dude, it's I'm wild. a massive Colombia fan. Yeah. And we've been here for an hour. No. You guys even got sushi. We're gonna go, he said he's gonna take us somewhere really authentic, like Colombian lunch. It's only like one of these. Yeah, I mean, you're just getting three pieces of sushi, right? Yeah. Okay. Authentic lunch very soon. We're just gonna drop our bags and get settled. It's, I don't even think it's noon yet. We have the whole day to explore this amazing city. Somehow you ended up with the, your own room. I'm not too upset with that. All right. Oh, dude. No okay. way. So we got the hammock, which is pretty sweet. But check out the view. Oh, dude. This is badass. It is. Look at the valley, you can see the whole city too down there. Look at that. Oh yeah, get that really long range lens in. Yeah, man. This is just unbelievable. Are you just gonna sleep in the hammock? I might today, <laughs> I might. I'm gonna take a nap in the hammock for sure. Moment of truth. Here's my room. Oh, this is insane. Let's open up these blinds a little bit, if I can figure out how to do that. How do you do that? See, I'm just lost whenever I go to a foreign country. Nope. Is this it? Oh yeah. Let's get some light in here. This room is also incredible and 
10 times nicer than what I was expecting. We booked this trip through an, out, through an outfitter called Fish Columbia and they set us up in Medellin for the night. They picked us up from the airport. Like they've coordinated everything so far and they are who we booked the smaller bush plane flight out tomorrow to the fishing lodge and all that on the Western coast. But it still hasn't really hit me yet and all this hasn't sank in just how beautiful this country is. The people are so incredibly nice. I haven't really touched on it much, but this is because I don't know much. Me and Scott have no idea what we're in for. We know we're in for big yellowfin tunas, big sailfish crushing like giant bait balls up on shore. We're in for huge Kubera snappers on giant poppers, which are basically just like GTs, like just as ferocious, big teeth. You guys will hopefully see them. That's the top prize. But then there's also opportunities at Marlin. There's a bunch of huge jacks. There's some tarpon around. Like there's, there's just everything here. There's also like whale sharks swimming by. Like, I, I, it's, I think you guys can see I'm struggling to explain this and struggling to really portray my excitement because it's just, it's just so much right now. It's so much to take in. It's so new for me. I've never been to South America before. I've lived in Chicago my whole life. I went to Europe a little bit in February, but this is so different and it's so beautiful. Like, look at the view. Like, it, it doesn't even look real. So I'm going to put my bag down and then we are going to get treated to a very traditional Colombian lunch which I'm very excited for. Some rice, some beans, some plantain, some pork. I'm excited. We didn't really know this, but uh, Jose told us that Medellin is like one of the nicest, if not the nicest cities in all South America. Everyone loves it because like the people are so happy, the restaurants are so nice, the city itself is beautiful, but this is the one thing about living in the rainforest, or being in the rainforest, I should say. Over there, I hope you guys can see that dark cloud. This time of year during the rainy season, it pretty much rains every day around like 1.30 to 3 o'clock, like downpours. The western half of Medellin right now is just being blasted by a heavy downpour and it's gonna hit us in like a half hour but hopefully we'll get seated in time get inside and have ourselves a beautiful lunch so where you will be is here it's here it's just close to Panama we are here right now in Medellin Medellin is this place here tomorrow you will fly, fly to Maya Solano who is just there in this bay here just blowing my mind. We're like stuck in a narco episode. Pretty much. This is not going So, first of all, this is my beer. Yeah. Then, chicharron. It's a kind of uh, piece of pork. Yeah. Like, hot belly. Hot belly. Yeah. We have eggs. We have morcilla, who is kind of chorizo. We have chorizo. We have meat. Rice, avocado, arepa, like corn cake, this is sweet plantain, and like soup, we have bean soup. Look at that. Amazing. The biggest culture shock, or what? That place was incredible. Not the biggest culture shock, but like. Oh, the most culture I've ever seen. Yeah, like I've been to some really cool places. Scott's been to way more cool places. It's been a lot of. Cool you said in the two hours you've been here, this is like. It's already my favorite city. Yeah, Medellin is just incredible. It's really not raining that bad, dude. It's been raining, pouring a lot for the last like half hour, but the rain's already passed. I oh, know it's, it's it's so cool here that I don't even care about fishing right now. No, we don't at all. Like we would love to spend a couple days here in Medellin. Jose's got something else up his sleeve for us, so I don't know what he's gonna do. He's got a lot of options. best tour guide ever. It is now the next morning. We're stopping off for breakfast, and this place looks like it has like the craziest view I've ever seen. We're up in the mountains, looking over Medellin. This is unbelievable. Can't see very well right now because of all the fog, but you, can, you might be able to see right there in that opening. But imagine dude. what this view would look like if there was. Dude, no the fog crazy right thing now. is that like we're about to fly to Bahia. We realized we were mispronouncing. We were saying Bahia. It's Bahia Solano. We were flying there in about two hours and we've been like oogling and ogling over this. I can't imagine how Bahia Solano is going to look. This is unbelievable. It's going to be totally different. So <laughs> much so. How about this view? Tell me you. Dream. <laughs> it's like, we were just saying how much we're impressed by this, so Bahia Solano is just going to blow us away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. All right, we're going to get to grubbing real quick and that'll see if I can fly my drone. Oh, hold on, yeah. 
I gotta try this. This is coffee. Very black coffee, right? With no sugar. With cane sugar. Oh, it does have sugar. That's how they drink in the country. That is worlds different than the coffee we had yesterday. That's incredible coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I took a tiny sip, but wow. It's enough for the taste. So here's our breakfast. We have incredible hot chocolates. We're weak, but this is probably the best thing we've ever drank. And Jose, what is in front of us right now? So sweet corn arepas uh, with the, uh, that's white cheese. Uh, it's a fresh cheese and the eggs come with tomatoes and onion, cut it fine. It's delicious. It's typical breakfast from Medellin. Yeah. What do you think, man? I think every single thing I've eaten here has been absolutely incredible. Check that view out. 